Hello, we're here today to talk about the EXP 1000 HD, tool designed for heavy duty equipment for large commercial and industrial vehicles that uh, have one or more batteries. And today we're going to do some testing on these farm implements and give you an idea about uh, what the capabilities are within this tool. When we have a vehicle that may be in for service, we want to get individual battery tests if at all possible, especially if there's been a complaint against the vehicle. To do that, we have to segregate the batteries, and in this case where we have two batteries, all I had to do was lift a single negative clamp off of one of the batteries, and I'm going to go ahead and test each of these batteries individually right now. Putting the positive clamp on the rear battery terminal and the negative on the negative. Okay, with the negative clamp connected, your first sign-on screen comes up, you hit next. We do want to do battery test. We're measuring 12.53 volts on this system right now. We're going to select battery test. It is a top post battery. It is a group 31, and it is a regular flooded battery, and it is rated in CCAs. In this case, it's rated at 900 CCAs. We can either scroll to that number or simply punch in 900 and hit next. It's actually asking for temperature because we've got the infrared temperature sensor. For the temperature of the battery, you simply need to point the tester towards the battery, hit next, and it automatically captures that temperature and it is testing. The result comes up, 12.54 volts, 948 CCAs on a rated 900, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and the result is good battery. With the first battery done, we're going to go ahead and print the results. We've got our IR printer right here and it's turned on. So you hit print once and it tells you to make sure it's lined up. Hit print again. And we'll capture the record for the inside battery on this particular vehicle. Again, good measured voltage, good CCAs. And you get an indication to both state of health and state of charge. We'll test the second battery and then reconnect. With the clamps reconnected now to the second battery on the outside of this vehicle, we're going to go ahead and do the next test, the next battery test. It is the same identical construction, so we just continue to push the buttons. The last test result will remain in there, but we want to go ahead and take the temperature again. And it's testing. Here we're reading slightly lower CCAs. We've got 12.49 volts. 901 CCAs on that rating at 68 degrees and in each case we've got a decision at the top of the screen for good battery. Let's go ahead and reassemble the system and do a complete system test. 